Hello beautiful world, it's your girl Sharice here on behalf of Simply High Productions to promote that self-awareness and to promote that unity. Today I am here with a great friend, his name is Zephyr, and we're going to be talking about self-awareness and unity. Yeah. Yes. So, um, what does self-awareness mean to you? Um, in, a, in so few words, mm -hmm. uh, I can say it means to be aware of one's actions. Yeah. Uh, being aware of the steps you have to take to be where you want to be. Mm -hmm. And being aware of the people around you and your actions and how they affect uh, other people. Exactly. I find a lot of people do lose that though mm -hmm. along the way just because um, we have so many distractions. So Technology, many distractions. It's society. Just like, yeah, society, yeah. Uh, like consumerism. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, we lose a lot of ourself through our self-awareness because we get blinded by our egos mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because they're created by material objects, material yeah. wants and needs mm -hmm. instead of being aware of our next step forward. Exactly. Um, how do you practice self-awareness? Do you practice self-awareness? I do practice self-awareness quite a bit. How do you practice your self-awareness? Um, I mostly practice through my meditation, mm -hmm. uh, my art, mm -hmm. uh, my music, and uh, my actions. That's right. So uh, an idea is through uh, meditation as well mm -hmm. um, because that gives you a point of being grounded. Um, it, and present. Present, exactly. Mm -hmm. Because uh, when you do meditate, you become more self-aware. Mm -hmm. You recognize your presence in this world and you recognize your actions. Yeah. If you have that time to reflect, you're able to do more with, I want to say, cognitive action. Mm -hmm. Being mm -hmm. aware of your actions. Exactly. Yeah. And what goes on inside the mind. Yeah. Um, when did you start being awakened or when did your awareness really start? Like. How old were you and what, what sparked it? Um, okay, this is actually really fun. <laughs> uh, so what, what actually started all of this jazz was um, I was in high school and I had a friend, mm -hmm. David Soul, mm -hmm. a bit of a shaman. And um, what triggered my self-awareness was the interest of his... Um, freedom and will of thought mm -hmm. and I being a rebellious young teenager you know uh, wanting yeah. to look for the next uh, thing to wreck yeah. um, I <laughs> I found this friend mm. and he sort of showed me um, what grounding yourself was mm. and just listening to your surroundings and all this jazz and him being a shaman as well, he had uh, certain um, mind expansive uh, things, mm -hmm. uh, such as like DMT and um, uh, psilocybin. Mm -hmm. And through um, guided meditation, I was able to reach a point of enlightenment That's at a very beautiful. young age. Oh I was, my I was, gosh, I know. I, I was 16 when wow. all that happened. That's young. I wasn't even self aware at age 16. Like, my self-awareness came like after going through like a lot of pain in life and like giving up on a lot of things like mm -hmm. I stopped believing in God I stopped mm -hmm. praying I stopped believing in myself my purpose I thought like I had no reason to be on planet earth mm -hmm. and then I started to meditate because I heard the whole thing about meditation I'm like yeah right mm -hmm. I'm, I'm the type to want to prove something to myself so I'm like yes. let, me, let me do this meditation thing I started meditating and it lasted months on months. I, it was like an addiction. Like every single morning before my meals, after my meals, during my break at work, I would be in meditation stage and people would just be like, you're so calm, you're so happy all the time. And it's like, yes, because I am nurturing and taking care of my inner world, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? And making sure everything is okay with me. So, which was your peak of self-awareness. That was my peak of self-awareness, yeah. Just being in a dark place, you know what I mean? Yeah, and usually that's the best place to find the light oh, trust is me. in the dark. Exactly. It's the only place you can actually see it. Exactly. That's so right. Now, a message for the youth. So, the there message. are young people growing up out here and they're not really self-aware or they haven't began or begun their journey of awakening. What word would you spread to the youth to let them know that the, about the journey of just awakening and the journey of um, being aware of yourself and your actions? Um, make mistakes. Make as many mistakes as you can. That's actually really big. I never even thought of that. It's so true because it's from the mistakes that you learn, right? Yeah. yeah and if, if you're not willing to do a nosedive into the dirt, you'll never be able to do a swan dive into a pond. So 
you really have to hurt yourself before you can, or be hurt by outside um, actions, yeah. you know, those things that are completely out of your control. Mm -hmm. um, you have to be able to take that as face value pain. That's right. And find the, find the goodness, find the bright side, find the strength that the is somewhere. The lesson. The lesson. Yes, the, yes. the thing that you can take from it and share because mm -hmm, you, mm -hmm. you don't want to be one of those people that wallow in some sort of self-pity you want to mm -hmm. be able to take that pain transform it into something so you can teach someone else exactly so i would say make mistakes mm -hmm. make as many as you can because only from there can you gain a cognitive knowledge of furthering yourself in the future you know how to avoid problems you know how to um defuse situations you know how to Focus on yourself in a situation which might, you know, require you to actually step back and be selfish mm -hmm. instead of always being selfless. Exactly. exactly. A, big, a big lesson a lot of people have to learn is you can't be selfless all the time. Exactly. You Too will, giving of yourself, right? Yeah, you will become a detriment mm -hmm. to your own psyche. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because if you're constantly giving out energy, you're never receiving it. Exactly. Exactly. That's very important. And I feel like a lot of us, we're so busy with our jobs, with our children, yeah. with um, our society and being consumers and having to follow these trends mm -hmm. of um, holidays and follow these trends of just doing everything that the society does, which mm -hmm. is taking us away from our natural selves, yeah. taking us away from the way we should be, which is just like family oriented and self oriented, you know, exactly. focused on the unity of the family and then focus on building that to better our generations to come because it is about the youth and the youth are the ones who are supposed to be empowered. The youth are supposed to be the ones who know these things and will learn from us, the, the older generation. The future, right? You understand what I'm saying? Yes, totally. Okay. So with, through, self, um, through Simply Hype, we promote self-awareness and we promote unity. So I've been asking this question, how can we unite the people? What can we do to bring the people together? Do you have any ideas how this ever like dawned upon you? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I've had quite a few ideas, and I think the biggest thing to change uh, would probably be how we think in general. So we would have to all congregate and not see any borders, not see any differences, not see any color, not see any sort of diffusion of yourself mm -hmm. in someone else. Mm -hmm. You have to recognize we're all human. We all have to stand up and. Guess what? The youth are the only people that can do it. Because <laughs> it's only the young generation that has the power of the future. You understand what I'm saying? We need to be together through our media, through our art, through yes. our music, yes. and Absolutely. make a movement. Exactly. It's up to the young generation exactly. to do something. Exactly. And we're all too focused on our social media, our private social media, not our global mm -hmm. stuff, not our our networking. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We have to stop looking inwards. Mm -hmm. And start focusing outwards, looking at the real problems, getting the real facts, figuring out what global economics are and how they're going to affect you in your future, and what we can do in a positive notion to allow borders to drop. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Stop seeing borders. Yeah. Stop seeing anything. Um, you talked about um, seeing something as one, and I feel like we need to yeah. have that synchronized vision of the future that synchronized vision of ourselves and our higher selves you know what i mean because once we can all get on the same vibe of wellness the same mm -hmm. vibe of love the yeah. same vibe of unity and wanting better for our children and our grandchildren and our great-grandchildren when i think about grandparents i see them as babies because like they were once babies they were once born and now they're the older generation so yeah. i look at the grandparents it's like what did you teach the children that they know now that is going to help them in the future mm -hmm. a lot of people are unaware of a lot of things that are going on in the world and i'm not blaming anyone for it but we are in the age of technology and we are in the age of knowledge so if you're ignorant that's just the point blank you're ignorant you have to be able to be aware of everything around you and the people around you and wanting to better yourself not just for you but for your children and your children's children, you know what I mean? And yeah. uniting the people through just being aware, you know, I feel like it all comes down to the self. If we can all mm -hmm. center ourselves and know ourselves and trust ourselves and grow within ourselves, our children will see the beauty that we're working on within and they would want to flourish that same beauty within as well. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for joining it me. It was a pleasure. Much love. Thank, thank you. you. All right. Yes. For more videos, you can follow us at Simply Hype on YouTube or Crystal Hype on um, Instagram or my personal Instagram. It's underscore Sharice. Much love. It's hype. Yeah. <laughs>